this young gentleman is going down the road. He's having a horrible day. Bad day. We all have bad days. Amen. Days that we just don't feel like living. And all of a sudden, when he's going down the road, Douglas, he heard the most beautiful singing that he ever heard in his life. You know what the hardest thing for a lot of American people to do, Bruce, is to give a compliment. Open a door for somebody and see what happens. We gotta start getting the vision back of love, <coughs> kindness, and goodness in our heart. Yeah. Or we're gonna raise a generation up that don't know nothing about it. Yeah. As parents and our grandfathers and our grandmothers, we need to start getting the backbone in our homes and start putting God back in the home. It's okay to pray over your me while I'm welcome. We went to church as big boy in Fremont. The first thing we all did was held hands at the table and pray. Well, what you're afraid of something? No, because they come down on it. I can't cheat. They couldn't look me in my damn holes. <laughs> you ever see my wife's white hook? You're done. <laughs> <laughs> this gentleman is going down the road, walking. He heard this beautiful singing, man. He said, man, this singing really blesses me. He said, who's singing this song? He began to look. The crowd was all pushed around me. He heard this coming around the corner of the lot. And he went around the block, and all of a sudden, he see a man going down the road there. And he's in a wheelchair, and he's hustling with everything he had, and he had no legs, and he was just singing to the glory of God. And that was the happiest man in that wheelchair. He was going, you know, a lot of us is down when I was a man that you had to lay in a wheelchair, you still walking, you still doing a good day in life. Why are we not out? And God is down and out of life, and he's just singing everything God playing in that wheelchair. Amen. God walked up to him, ran up to him, said, Sir, 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 I gotta ask you a question. The guy said, Yeah, he said, you're singing, totally bless me. He said, That's all God. He said, well, I gotta ask you a question. He said, why are you so excited? Why are you so happy? He said, you are bound to a wheelchair. You know, the circumstance you're in, what you make out of is what you're gonna have to live with. Yeah. 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 The circumstance you're in, what you make out of, is what you end up living with. Joe looked up at that guy and said, yeah, you're right, I'm bound in this wheelchair. He said, you know what? He said, I got to think about everything that I lost. And he said, then, I begin to think about everything I still have. Yeah. And what I still have overcome what I lost. And I can pray and go to God for what I do have. It's time that we get our mind back on what we do have instead of the troubles that we're going through in life and what we have lost. Get over your loss and start thinking. Oh, my God. 